love this. This is my new baby. This is gonna be my favorite forever. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my current favorites I've been obsessing. I know I haven't been doing a monthly favorites in a while just because we were in quarantine and I wasn't really buying stuff, so it was just pointless. But I have accumulated a lot of things that I've been loving these past couple months, so I wanted to show you guys. Also, I am filming in my living room, so that's why the background is a little bit different. And I'm here with a little birthday boy. He's finally won. After this, I'm gonna throw him a little birthday party with my family. I'm such a dog mom, I know. So he's just here chilling, so just don't mind him. You're gonna have a little birthday party today, Lukey. What you think? Also, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have shown me since I started my YouTube journey. I did hit over 1K subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all of you. Before I jump right into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes. So if you're interested on what my current favorites are, then just continue watching. So I literally have two baskets filled with favorites. Like I said, I haven't done monthly favorites in a while just because of quarantine, self-isolation, but I have accumulated a lot of favorites. So a lot of the stuff I have is beauty related, some random things, some body care, hair care, and some snacks. So I do have quite a bit of stuff. So the first thing is this moisturizer that I picked up from Marshalls about a month ago and it's the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer and this is what it looks like. I saw this at Marshalls and it caught my eye because it is a moisturizer from Glam Glow and Glam Glow, if you don't know, they are a very popular brand. They are a very high-end skincare line. So when I saw this at Marshalls, it was discounted like 20 bucks cheaper so this grabbed my eye. So I have been using this for about a month now and I'm obsessed with this moisturizer. This is the first moisturizer that actually makes my skin moisturized, but like moisturized. And I have very dry skin and this has been amazing on my skin. I use it at nighttime and as well as the morning before I put my makeup on and even just applying my makeup, it's so smooth, so moisturized. And at nighttime when I apply it, my skin just looks so dewy and moisturized and glowy. So it's very hard to find a moisturizer that actually keeps your face glowing throughout the night. So I do love this moisturizer. It is gonna be one of my favorites. I'm probably am gonna repurchase this product once it's fully done because I'm that obsessed with it. So I love this. Another favorite has been face tanning drops and I was using the Tan Lux um, months ago and I did repurchase that one twice, but I did discover this one and it's the St. Morris Radiant Glow Tanning Drops. And I did pick this up from Ulta and it's really cheap. It's only $18.99 and the Tan Lux from Sephora is like 40 bucks. <laughs> this is so much cheaper than the Tan Lux and it works about the same. I do tan every single week and I don't tan my face just because I have sensitive skin and I just don't wanna put my body tanner on my face. So this is really nice. I apply a couple drops into my moisturizer and I wake up the next morning with a tan face and it's really nice because when I don't have makeup on, I don't look like a ghost anymore. <laughs> my face actually matches my body, so I really love this and I'm going to keep repurchasing it. I'm actually almost out. I already repurchased another one and like I said, it was super cheap, $18.99 and sometimes Ulta does like deals and coupons and stuff so you can get that product even cheaper. If you're a tanaholic, I would recommend that product. I love it. The next product is a primer, and this is from Wet n Wild, and it's the Primer Serum Prime Focus. And this is in the hydrating one. Let me tell you, I'm... Vicky, come here. So I did get this primer about a month ago, and I've been wearing it every single day. Let me tell you, this makes your skin so glowy, so moisturized. You can actually use it alone, and your face just looks glowy, and just... Oh, hey, Luke. Hi, big baby. You wanna come sit with me again? So I do apply a couple drops before I apply my foundation and I do apply more of like a pore minimizing primer in my T-zone area, but I do apply this all over and I'm obsessed with this product. I'm gonna keep repurchasing this product just because it's that good and it was only $7.99 from Ulta.com and it actually makes my makeup last all day and I'm a hairstylist and I have to wear a mask to work all day. So even underneath the mask, my, my makeup is still on point so I've been really loving this and it smells so good. It smells like a spa. It smells like, oh, it just smells like sweetness, rosiness, like perfume. It smells really good and it doesn't irritate my skin. So 
I love that. Next is a lip gloss, and I think I'm a little late in this game, but I have like just, just discovered this from another YouTuber, and it's a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, and I did get the mini size from Sephora just because I wanted to try it out before I buy the full size, and this stuff works. Like, look at my lips, how juicy they look. They just look so good. They look a little extra plump. I will say it does burn and it does tingle your lips. It feels like you're going to have allergic reaction, but that's just normal because it does plump up your lip a little bit. I love it. I don't have any lip injections. This is like my natural lips. So I do like it because it gives me like an extra plump without the lip injection. And yeah, I really do love this. I want to pick up the full size and I also want to pick up the tinted ones because I know they have like different colors. They have like rosy ones, pinkish ones. So I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. It's tingling right now. It's tingling. Vicky. It's tingling. Also, I wanted to mention, be careful who you kiss with this when you have it on. Because if you kiss a boy, he's going to feel a tingling sensation and it might be a little weird. So just be careful with this because it actually tingles and irritates. But it works. I love it. The next favorite is this Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is so hyped up right now on YouTube. And this is what the bronzer looks like. I got the shade Macchiato um, and I love it. I will say when I first applied this on, it wasn't as pigmented as what I thought it would be, but it was because I was using the wrong brush. And then I switched over to like the KKW like cream contour brush and now it works like perfect. I have it on today and it's so pretty and it just gives your skin like an added glow, especially now for summer. You want to use more cream products because it just like blends better with your skin, with the humidity. I live in Florida, so this is really nice. It doesn't look cakey on the skin at all. So I really do love this and yeah, I do want to pick up another shade just for when I'm more tan and then for the days I'm a little bit more pale but I really love this. It blends beautiful. I do want to try the cream blushes from Fenty as well. That's next on my list, but I do love that cream bronzer a lot. Another favorite is an eye cream, and this is from Ola Henderson. Is that how you pronounce it? Ola Henderson. Um, and this is in the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I did get a like mini size from Sephora. I got the eye cream and as well as the Banana Moisturizer. I got the smaller version just to try out, just in case, and I love this eye cream. For the longest time, I just feel like eye cream really doesn't do much, and I talk to clients who have been using eye cream for years, and they don't notice a difference, but this eye cream, I've literally been using it for about two weeks now, and I feel like my under eye has been a lot more brighter. I've actually been using high-end eye creams for a couple years now, and this is the only eye cream that actually works for me. And also, if you just wear it alone at nighttime, your, your skin just looks so glowy and your under eye just looks like you have concealer on. It's really nice and it's really nice for makeup artists to use on their clients. It just kind of brightens the under eye and preps it for concealer and makeup and all that. So I really do love this. Once I'm done with the mini size, I am going to buy the full size. And it's nice because a little goes a long way. So I feel like you can get a lot of use out of it. This is what it looks like. And it smells really good. It smells like citrus. Right, Liz? Wanna smell it? it? Smells good, right? It smells good, right? He approves. My next favorite is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glowy Fixing Spray. I've been loving this setting spray. I was actually using the Morphe setting spray for years and I switched over to the Luminous Morphe spray. I still like it, but I feel like it wasn't making my skin as dewy as I wanted it to be. And this is serious. Like if you spray it on, it looks like you just came out of the pool. That's how wet your face looks. I'll spray a little bit more on even though I did earlier. Like look at my skin. It looks like I just got out of the pool. And it makes my makeup last long too. Um, like I said, I do go to work and I wear a mask and my skin looks on point all day. And it claims that it prepares the skin and improves makeup wear, refreshes complexion. So I totally agree. I love this product. I actually already bought a backup um, and it's only $7.99, so it's really affordable. So um, let me tell you guys, I discovered a new tanner, a new tanner that I've been wanting to try for a year now and I could not get my hands on it because every time I try to look for it, it's always, always sold out. And I finally got my hands on it and it's the Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning in Ultra Dark. 
this stuff is amazing i mean look at my body it's brown it's not olivey it's not reddish it gives you the perfect brown tan i will say it's kind of beginner friendly just because it's easy to blend but it's also not beginner friendly because it makes you super dark well at least the ultra dark makes you really dark um so if you do want to try this out and you are beginner friendly i would maybe try the medium first or maybe the dark and just do one coat because this makes you really really dark right luke <laughs> you sleepy you can take a nap before your party mm -hmm. and i discovered this tanner from casey holmes she was raving about this tanner and as well as another youtuber prior to this tanner i was using loving tan and i was using loving tan for no joke like three to four years now and i feel like the formula has changed recently and it's not as good as it used to be so i saw that casey holmes switched over from loving tan to this tanner and i'm so happy i finally got my hands on it because it is bomb i am going to do a tanning routine pretty soon to show you guys how i self tan and my tips and tricks and the products i would recommend to um different skin tones and all that but this is my baby. I did purchase it from Pretty Little Thing and I did buy another backup because I'm already halfway done. And yeah, and it's, oh, and it's really affordable. It's only $25, but unfortunately you have to pay shipping. So it's like $8.99 more depending where you live. So in total, it's like 35 bucks. It's still cheaper than the Loving Tan because the Loving Tan at Ulta is $39.99. Um, I love this. This is my new baby. This is gonna be my favorite forever. Love that. Okay, next is a body care, and this is the Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer, and this is infused with enriching shea butter, oil, and hyaluronic acid. This is what it looks like. Um, so this is actually a new, new, new favorite. I bought this two weeks ago, or maybe a week and a half ago, and I've been using it every single day. So basically what this is, is a lotion in the shower. So after you shower, you turn the shower off, and before you even dry yourself, you apply this all over your body, and usually I just like let it sit for one minute, and then I take my towel and just like lightly pat my body dry, and whew, your body is silky, it smells like coconuts, It it's the best, like, it smells so good it smells like oh, just amazingness and yeah i love this um and i like it because it doesn't irritate my skin and i have mild eczema and it doesn't irritate my eczema at all so this is gonna be my new favorite for a long time i love it shout out to jergens you're killing it i also did buy the tanner in shower lotion as well i haven't tried it yet i might try it today just to kind of see if it prolongs my tanner a little bit longer but yeah I love this. All right, so I have two hair products that I wanna talk about and they're both from Orbe and I do work with Orbe products so that's why I can experiment with them a little bit more. But let me tell you, you guys need this in your life. Like this is the Orbe Invisible Defense Universal Protection Spray. If anyone uses heat on their hair, you need this product. It is amazing. You can spray it on wet and dry dry too and it doesn't leave your hair super wet like some heat protectants and this goes up to 450 heat protectant so this is really nice you do get a lot in here it says it has 5.9 fluid ounces so for the money it's worth it and it's orbe so it's the best i think it does retail for 44 dollars, which i know is kind of crazy for a heat protectant but it's amazing and yeah i just spray it on wet and dry especially dry right before i'm doing any kind of heat styling and it really protects my hair so i've been loving this okay the next favorite if you have fine hair or damaged hair or thinning hair you need this in your life this is the orbe serene scalp thickening treatment spray I've talked about this several times on my channel. I've talked about it in a hair care video and as well as a styling video that I did, um, like how I do my hair with extensions. I don't have extensions in right now, by the way, FYI. No extensions in my hair. So basically it's a three month treatment and I've had this for five months now and I still have like maybe like this much left. Um, so what you do is you get out of the shower after you wash your hair and when your hair is still damp, you're just gonna spray it onto your scalp and usually I just like take sections and spray it on my scalp. I'll flip my hair over and like spray it underneath here and just like everywhere on my scalp. And then I'll just take my fingers and just kind of like rub it in my scalp, get that blood stimulation flowing and just get all that product in my scalp. 
and I will say this stuff works not only does it work on me but I have clients that have purchased this and it works so this is legit it's pricey it's $74 but it's worth it it's a treatment it's not a thickening um, styling product this is a treatment you put it on your scalp and your hair gets thicker it grows it's amazing. Like I said, I don't have any hair extensions in at the moment. I did take them out and like look how thick and full my hair looks. Like my natural hair never looks this thick when I take out my extensions. So it is this product. It's amazing. It's one of my holy grails now. I'm going to keep repurchasing it. I'm also going to get it for my mom because she has fine hair as well. And this is amazing. I just want everyone to try it. If you have thin hair, breaking hair, chemical damaged hair, um, if you're thinning, like, and also men can use it. It's not just for female, even though it's in the little pink bottle. The packaging is super cute. Even though it's pink, it's not just for females. Anyone can use it. It's bomb, okay? So the next two favorites are little snacky snacks. The first snack I've been obsessed with is this, like, little six-pack. Is it a six-pack? Six-pack of kettle corn popcorn from Trader Joe's. This was only $2.99, and you get a six-pack of this really big bag. The size of my oh, this fell on my head. It's the size of my head, as you can see. Like it's a really big bag. Like look at this, it's big. So you get a six pack, and it's only two ninety nine, and it's kettle corn. It is so good. I've been like on a little kettle corn kick these past couple weeks. Um, at nighttime when I'm munching, I just love popcorn. I don't know why. I don't know. But yeah, I've been loving popcorn and this is really nice specifically because I can throw it in my work bag and be out the door and eat it at work when I'm in a little snacking mood. So I love this. It's very um, lunch appropriate or snack appropriate. So yeah, I like to put it in my work bag and then when I'm at work and I have a little break, I'm in the snacking mode, I will pop this open and eat it. It's so good and I can share it with my friends as well because you get a lot in here. And the serving size is only one bag, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I've been really obsessed with this snack. Highly recommend if you have a Trader Joe's in your area. It's really cheap. So the next snack I'm going to show you guys is from Trader Joe's. So I'm sorry if you guys don't have a Trader Joe's in your area. I'm really, really sorry because Trader Joe's is the best. But if you do have a Trader Joe's in your area, I would highly recommend picking this up. It's in the frozen section, like in the desserts area. And it's the um, little mini cones and vanilla. Yeah, mini ice cream cones in the cream, cream, in the flavor vanilla. They do have a, another flavor, which is chocolate, and then sometimes they have seasonal ones, like they have peppermint during winter, and then right now they have the chocolate chip chocolate, which I'm going to get next time when I go. I'm going to go tomorrow. Um, I love this specifically because look how small they are. Look how small they are. They're so tiny. So cute. I love this. So I love it because sometimes I crave ice cream and ice cream ice cream upsets my stomach because of IBS. So I can't really eat ice cream ice cream. Um, I have to eat like dairy free ice cream. But I do love ice cream cones. Like I don't know what it is with like the cone and like the mix. I don't know. I just love ice cream cones. So this is really nice because it's super little. So usually the serving size says you can eat three but I just eat one maybe two just so i can like satisfy my sweetness um but yeah i love it it's so little it doesn't upset my stomach it's like the perfect little sweet snack at night before bed <laughs> um so i really 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 love these and i've actually been buying these for years now for my boyfriend and just recently i've been eating them and now i buy them for me <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the last favorite is a bag, and this is actually my new work bag. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It has two little pockets here where I keep random stuff, and then it's pretty big in here, as you can see, and it has like these long straps. So it almost looks like a tote bag, but almost like a bucket bag as well. I love this bag. Oh my god. I love the color. It's like this really pretty camel beige color. And I did get this from Sheen. Shocker. I love Sheen. And guess how much it was? $7. A bag like this from like Aldo or something could be easily like $49. And or even Target. Like this could be at Target for 30 bucks. And this was from Sheen. $7. It was so cheap. And it fits so much stuff in here. It's pretty comfortable. It has like a little clip here so you can kind of 
secure it. Okay, my camera kind of shut off while I was talking. Okay, so back to the bag. Yeah, this was only $7. It's from Shein. I will link it down below if you're interested. So yeah, it's my new favorite. I wear it to work and it's just really cute. Alrighty, so that wraps up my current favorites. I think I had a good amount of favorites. I think out of everything, my favorite, favorite, favorite is all of them. <laughs> I really can't. I can't. Well, maybe like this one, this one, this one. They're all my favorites. I can't like, I, I can't. They're, they're all my favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.